What is going on, y'all? This is T Money. I am back here again with another video. You already know what time it is. Um, we're gonna be talking about this interview, okay? I'm really not even gonna be touching into like a lot of things with this interview, but I found it really, really, really interesting. You know, uh, I'm a chiller, as you already know, but the interview was really intriguing because this actually just happened after the, the episode that Maggie just had the day before yesterday where a lot of people were dragging him. On today's episode, the main guest was Cesar Jalmo. You already know, I don't even have to explain. One thing about Cesar is that he's very talented, he's very knowledgeable, he's very articulate, he's very educated. I, I didn't even know that uh, he went to Verts, he got a degree from Verts. But I was really, really intrigued. There's a lot of things that Cesar mentioned on the interview today that got me a little bit itchy. One of the things that Susan mentioned, uh, he was asked about the Kanye West controversy that's going on right now. And he was able to, you know, I felt, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I felt about that. He basically mentioned that Kanye West does some, mm, you already know what I'm talking about. D-R-U-G-S. Okay. Uh, he mentioned that uh, Kanye West does grandpa. Uh, and he quoted some of the songs. This is some things that we were not even aware of. This is that just puts the light on what's actually happening right now in Kanye West's life. But he did actually jot it down. He actually elaborated on the fact that Kanye West has always been doing that from, from the beginning. And he did sing about that in many songs. Of which this is something that, you know, I've been following Kanye West from the college dropout. Like... I did not even know, to be honest, because I don't. Sometimes you don't even listen to the to the lyrics of the songs. But he did bring some very, very important, but at the same time, disturbing, disturbing points on the larger platform like this. I was like, oh my god, this guy is does not give a ish about anything, especially when you are a public figure. You might interview Kanye West next week. So another thing that Cizre did mention, uh, I, you know, he did really did not say a lot about um, what's going on with Kanye West right now, but he did raise his opinion about the way he was raised. Everything that he learned from um, his mother, he just threw it out the window. And then he also um, touched into the subject. He really did, that, did not even want to talk about this from the beginning. The situation with her and Unati, he talked about that and it kind of brought a little bit of a light to people who actually did not know what happened. But it looks like he does not care who is acting or what. He does not care about Unati. He actually won her for even trying to go to HR to report the situation that was going on between them. I'm not going to say he's cocky, but that definitely sounded very cheesy and cocky. And he got a lot of properties and stuff like that. So, I don't know. The interview was really interesting. I like the fact that he is very elaborative and he's able to actually portray himself as a very calm uh, an individual. To me, it looks like he doesn't like drama. He's not into... Uh, all this crazy stuff. But here is the other thing that was a little bit disturbing, okay? Not when the two stripper ladies came to surprise McG for his birthday. McG's girlfriend actually arranged this and the two strippers came in and he actually was not interested at all. He was busy eating. He did, he did not even pay no attention to the strippers. And I'm not saying he was supposed to focus and be looking at, at their, you know what I'm saying? But just be receptive to the, these people and show support. These people are not here to finesse you or they're not here to get your money. They're here for this this person. The way he was looking at them, it was it, it was a little bit funny to me and he actually even mentioned that he was not interested at them because they don't look the part i'm like wait wait this this is so disrespectful to these ladies you know it's, it's a lot of things that you can say and for a person with a larger platform like this you know your mouth and your tongue has power for you to say the, the ladies don't look good they were ugly they were not attractive to you I really found it really disturbing for a man to say that to those beautiful ladies that were there. But I guess everybody has their own opinion. But I feel like sometimes you got to keep things to yourself. And this was the moment where you're supposed to shut your mouth 
and don't say anything about those ladies. The other ladies in the room did not come to their defense. I did not hear a ghost lady saying, Cesare, you can't say that to a woman. You can't say that. When you got a power, when you got a big mouth, when you got control, when you have money, when you have all this fame, uh, I guess this is what you can do. Either way, the interview went really well and I've learned so much about the episode. I've learned so much about investing into yourself, uh, into properties, investing your money, not all, not just trying to look the part and being fleshy and all that, buying properties, real estate, investing, and all of that that he's into. I found it really, really interesting for a young person like this to be buying buildings and all that, considering Horena Otome Ale Hokai. But either way, everything went well. The episode went well as usual, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much. If you guys need to go ahead and hit subscribe button and also like the video to support me, I will see you next time. I gotta go. Peace out.